Welcome back YouTube. This is the continuation to last night's video. I had my stitches removed today and I decided to swap to the smaller impact, the 3 8 impact. Some of the bolts didn't have quite enough ugga dugga to remove them so I had to go get a breaker bar to go ahead and break them loose but that impact's a whole lot easier to hold versus the other one. During the process of taking it apart, I ran into several complications. That little ground effect, air dam, whatever you want to call it in the front. It was covering two of the bumper bolts. Whoever installed it used some redneck ingenuity. They used probably 20 drywall screws and self-tapping screws. Most of them I couldn't get out, so I'm going to later have to break them off, you know, drill them out, whatever it takes. It was covering two of the bolts. I didn't see it. I was trying to get the bumper off and then realized there were two hidden bolts. And after that, you know, I'm working on pulling the grill. Notice some more drywall screws holding on the bottom of the grill. And then when I get to the passenger side, noticed it's been wrecked a little bit harder than I thought it had been. You know, the core support and everything's good. It's just the passenger fender. So if any of y'all know anybody that has a good passenger fender, you know, probably the whole thing or at least half of it and a good lower drivers because like my bottom two or three inches was pretty rotten out. I can make them myself, but it's a whole lot easier if I get one in good shape, just cut it off and weld it back on. But this was a learning process for me. Um, this van came out of South Georgia every time I would use the impact tons of dirt would fall i've pressure washed under it so many times but there's just so much dirt under there and then somebody used roofing tar and covered a lot of the bolt heads so i had to use the hammer and an old screwdriver to knock the roofing tar off good thing you know it was old and dry so it'd come off in chunks so i could get to the bolts but with that said, you know, enjoy the rest of the video. Like, share, help me get to my first thousand uh, followers, and there'll be more to come. You know, I'm going to start working on pulling the radiator and getting the engine ready to prep next. So that will be coming up pretty soon. But for, you know, enjoy the rest of the video.